Hi there, folks, and welcome back to another edition of Mr. Songbird's Writing Mukbang. Hope you've had a wonderful week. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an update on you know, how things are going in June, as well as going over a topic I found of interest of late. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, first, I'm having some calzones and some tater tots. Mmm. I had this for an ASMR recently. This is quite good. Much like, you know, a good, like, you know, barbecue, you know, pork sandwich. Be a little bit messy. So far, as far as writing goes, I'm maintaining my, you know, pace. Because it's like, you know, you know, I write on, you know, with plenty of time to spare each day. Now, one thing I'm trying to work on is, I've been doing some editing in the past weeks. This week I'm starting writing some more. Let's talk about, you know, writing from scratch. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say you're starting, to, let's say you're writing a chapter of a story. There are multiple ways to do this, obviously. Some people like to edit as they go along. Others, you know, prefer not to. In my case, I have a bad habit of trying to edit as I go along. And I say bad because it always slows me down. I write like two paragraphs, like, oh wait, this sentence is wrong. I like, tweak this sentence a little bit. And the time that it took me to write and edit those two paragraphs, I could have, you know, probably written six. The worst part is, it's not like I do the edits and then I'm done. It's often like I do the edits and then I come back to it later and have to do edits anyway. Now, there's a lot of ways to, you know, get around that. One I've used in the past is an app called ILYS, where I'm not allowed to edit as I go along, which helped a lot. Problem is that one, it's a, the fee has gone up, you know, significantly. Originally it was like three bucks a month, but now it's like 12 bucks a month. It's a bit much my price range. And two, it doesn't allow autocorrect. Which might not seem like a big issue, it meant that it added a lot of time to my writing because I had to go back and be like, okay, it's not rasan, it's reason. I don't want to, you know, go back, you know, as I'm writing and edit and stuff. By the same token, I don't want to have to do a full round of ads just to make sure it's readable before I start editing it. This past week I've been trying a new technique where basically, it may seem very simple, but the idea is you just use a standard like word processor. You turn the letters like absolutely white on a white background so you can't see anything. As a result, you get all the benefits of an autocorrect, and you can't see it, so it's a lot harder to be tempted to edit, let me tell you. It's one of those out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Now, I'm still, you know, testing it. It's gotten pretty good for me in terms of you know, how much you know, writing I'm able to output with that. I gotta admit, there's something about like, you know, potato-based foods and you know, ketchup that just always goes well for me. Now, that's not to say that this method I'm trying is the only one I can use. Like, if it doesn't work, what I'll probably do is go back to my other method, which is basically use a dictation software. Because dictation is genuinely good when you're going straight for speed. Main downside is, at least with some dictation softwares, accuracy may be less than I prefer. A 
Or maybe it's just the way I talk. Like I've said before, one thing that's particularly important for me in my pursuit of you know, mastering the writing craft is speed. Because, simply put, the faster I write, the more I can do get done the time I write. And now that finishing my writing each day is longer a concern, the real one is, how much can I get written? Like there was this one you know, book I read about how I got like 2,000, 3,000, like 5,000 words per hour. I don't know if I can get to that point, but I'd like to get to like, you know, 2,500 consistently. Efficiency is the order of the day for me, like what I'm trying to achieve. Because if I can write, you know, a 10,000 word, you know, written in, you know, well-edited chapter in a week, that's, you know, extra speed and I can get stuff, more stuff done in the same amount of time. I'll say this was, you know, really good. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Before that video, I don't know if I'd ever had a calzone before. Honestly, I always thought it was kind of like, ashamed to admit this, but I thought it was like marinara sauce and cheese inside and like meat, which I'm apparently I was very much mistaken on. I'm going to have to have this more in the future. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the recent you know, book review. I might be doing some more in the near future. For now, though, I'm going to pop out. I'll see you folks in the next video. This is Charles, signing out. Bye, folks.